the Palo de Musica Catalana. Far to work. My feet are swollen from walking so much. You can see these wood, these wood carvings. You did these all with tiny razors. The name of the architect who designed this auditorium. Yes. He was not Gaudi. <laughs> He was Luis Domenech y Montanet. Luis Domenech y Montanet was the teacher of Cali. Choir whose name is Urfeo Catala and that we can see singing over there in the picture hanging from the wall. So we are going to start this tour with Sometimes we have dinners, cocktails, things in connection of this room with the restaurant over there. So, if you are planning a wedding or if you are going to get married soon, maybe you can celebrate it here. Jordy broke it. We have more than 320 concerts in Panama. We get all rock, bossa nova, tardo, flamenco, blues. This is where I'm going to have my birthday dinner. Beautiful square. What is this place? It's Plaza Real, Lequen Mi. And we're going to have some delicious food here. Delicious. Delicious. I was telling Fanny that I was surprised that I still have sparkles in my eyes. <laughs> we finished the palace. It was very beautiful. It was cool how they had the ballet going at the same time as we were doing so here we are witnessing a typical Steve burger. This is how Steve manages the European bagel bun scenario. Tell them your technique of lathering a bun with ketchup. Well, it's really something I established a long time ago in my child infancy. You must have the maximum amount of ketchup on anything that has hamburger on it. 
or a french fry involved. So, so you double flip it. French fries are designed by God to scoop ketchup in your mouth. They have no other purpose in this world. And so when I have a hamburger equally, it helps you maximize the amount of ketchup you can get in your mouth. It's just, he, he offended us with his french fries. Oh, his belt, well. Belgian fries are a good substitute. You put so or a good, much. Um, replacement of the French fry. What? It's not a replacement. You put so much ketchup on your burger that no, you have to slice it. it. Oh, I, no, it's not because of the, the ketchup is so thick, which I do put ketchup on both sides of the burger. This is something I do even at McDonald's. But I have to slice it because the bagel bun is so thick and hearty, you can't chew it with your teeth without squirting the burger and ketchup out the other side. The birthday dessert, too much chocolate. Yo, yo, I had to pee. I went to the KFC. It was for free. Now I'm happy. <laughs> I am all packed up and ready to leave Barcelona. It is time to say goodbye to my room. I need my tea. Whoa, I'm kind of burnt, kind of tan, I don't know. Goodbye room. I'm sorry I'm not that great at making beds. Goodbye, good light, goodbye lamp, goodbye mirror, goodbye blood on the wall. There you are. Goodbye fan that kept me from dying. Goodbye messy but cute bedroom with, I don't know. What the? Goodbye tilted picture frame. Goodbye. Goodbye kitchen that I broke the light and that we never use. Goodbye bathroom that gave me a nice shower. I need this stuff. Goodbye paintings on the wall. Goodbye, Barcelona! Another casualty. Gross. All right, so I literally just woke up from having a dream about a crazy possessed child, and this is what I wake up to, like. Hold on. Big boom's coming pretty soon. It's like 3.33 in the morning, and I'm trying not to die. I'm just watching videos to cheer myself up. I can't sleep because I keep thinking about that child like whenever it just oh god I couldn't do it I love I love thunderstorms but it's just like when I have a dream about being possessed and a child being possessed this is exactly what I don't want right now I am packing to go back to the US at this point and everything I own is basically black. It's kind of hysterical at this point, so I'm gonna go and catch a flight back to the US. Gentlemen, welcome to the Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, the local time here is 1245.